Hello everyone and welcome back to Magic Gathering Strat and the third match with Yeskai Vile. This is how a Nate man should look like after 12 and a half minutes or whatever. 2 0, 2 0, 2 0, 2 0. Indicates that all the fast techs are still in it. Or it's also possible that uh, uh, Two slower deck faced off and one fizzled very heavily, like Mulligan to two or something. Ooh. Uh, sure, but I don't really like this hand. Two basics are just the worst. Watery Grave. Indicates combo. Hmm. I would like to keep spell snare up, but I snare up, but I really need vile. Let's go for a red white land. I think that's the best way to do it. Yeah, it's combo, definitely. Is it. Um, oh crap. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. I'm not even close to be killing anyone. It's Angel's Grace Ad Nauseum, and he can kill me within two turns. And I have yet to make a scratch. Yeah, I'm just going to play one. I can vile one in next turn and lightning helix and then maybe two, three, four, f five. So one more man and he can go for it. Is this uh, on life? No, it's at Nazi. Oh, he played in his grace? Did they exile a spirit card without uh, me noticing? Okay. I'm just gonna let him go through it. Not everyone knows how it works. But yeah, the only thing I could have done is kept Spellsner up. This was the deck I was thinking of, and snaring a Pendle Prism is like game over. But uh, let's see. Let's take a look. Yep, Pact of Negations, we're in here. And Bobble 2, good to know. Uh, let's see. 1, 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, it's a good start. This will be a quick one. So let's see, Spellscape doesn't do that much. Where Terror will be coming in. Countflux certainly. Countflux is very good. Unscatched can go. Spell snares can go. Uh, Countflux coming in. Maybe shaving an Electrolyze for two wear tears. Yeah, we were a bit slow. Maybe I should have. This is another hand that's very reasonable with like one more land. But I think we have to, to do better. Yeah, this hand will do. It has what I'm asking for a fast clock and uh, some, some disruption. I like when they play with Lotus Bloom as their um, Actually, I'm going. I could uh, save the fetch, try to draw another land, but I'm going to go for uh, uh, the Pyromancer because the only kind of disruption I know they're playing is Drowning Sorrow. And uh, if that's the case. 
Maybe I should have attacked first, but if Dronosaur is the only thing they have, then a, a remand will be good next turn. But Delver is not guaranteed to be a fast, a fast enough clock. So a land would be good. Yeah, land would be good. Any kind of uh, spell that I can cast would be good. Basically everything besides Edvile. <laughs> I could even see drawing a counterflux just because how good it is if I draw a land. So what if we place a Pentad Prism? Don't think I can remand it. Sure. Manning Lotus Bloom is also like the best in the world. So I could have played Edelweil last turn, but it will actually not be able to do anything uh, before the game is over. Wear Tear is a pretty good draw. But I think Reman is what I will use. Hopefully, that will be enough. <sighs> Drown and Sorrow coming in, maybe. If you don't, then I don't really see how you could win this turn. Echoing Truth. Deal. That's also good. I guess we just play lightning bolts. If he has a counter, right, then I can have wear wear tear up or play the wild delver. I want to change anything. Maybe we could shave a monastery mentor for like. I I really can't. The only way, the way I'm losing this game is, uh, first of all, if I don't have any pressure. If I don't have any pressure, I won't be winning this game. No matter if I have like five count spells, if I have all my count spells, I will still lose the game. So I need a hand with some mana, fast threats, uh, and then disruption in that order. You'd be surprised how often you lose when you have the hand that you think is fantastic that contains like three lands, a remand, two remands, maybe a counterflux, and just yeah. Well, this is basically what I'm talking about. I'm gonna start off with the Delver. Guaranteed. Lotus Bloom it is. You have a Serum Missions too. Yep. Taking a lot of damage. Where did he go? Top bottom. Let's go with Hallowed Fountain. Now let's probe next turn to see if I can. Uh, oh, he had two Lotus Blooms. Oh, he drew one from the Serum Missions, I see. We will see if we can. Somehow, oh, that's not good. No, I would not like to reveal that. What are you working with? Okay. On life, guide, slight. So 
So we probably don't need to keep remand up. But if the elver is not flipping then we're dead anyway. So we kept something on top and that was probably the unlife would be my guess. There's the sleight of hand. On life, alright. That's good. Uh, the thing with on life is that if he goes for it and I tear it, he loses the game. Uh, what card was it? <laughs> Damn it, now he knows about it, but I have to flip them here. Let's just do it like this. Cost tear. Play a land. Attack for six. I will have to let the Lutus Blooms resolve. Because he will have mana to do whatever he wants anyway. But I can maybe stop him from going off at least one turn. The thing is that if he goes for it, or rather if he has it and he goes for it, Remand will be equally good since he doesn't have any mana to work with without the Lotus Blooms, so did he keep it on top? No. So he has basically one turn. Don't think he will have enough. Uh, let's see, we have red, white, let's just play basic island. I actually think we have this game. I guess if he has Angel's Grace, Ad Nauseum, Pact of Negation, then I'm dead. Too sweet. I like this deck. Oh, if we didn't want this turn, we would be hard pressed to do something. Thanks for watching. I'll bring you one more match as soon as the round has started.